very nice. We got a few more problems to go. Now, what we're going to review here is complex fractions. Okay? This was something covered in pre-algebra. Then again, if you have to review some of this material, go back to the pre-algebra supplemental instructions webpage and view some of the videos there. And you can also download some of the notes and, and just fill in the, the, the notes as you go, and that might help to refresh your memory for that course. Some of you might have skipped over pre-algebra and thought you were ready for this course, but uh, you need to go back and review if you're not ready. So anyway, so here we go. Here's our first problem. One half minus three fifths over two fifths plus seven tenths. Okay. Now what we're going to do here, okay, is find the lowest common denominator. Remember from pre-algebra, our in order to kung fu or clear the fractions, we have to find the lowest common denominator of all of our fractions. Okay, so notice here our denominators are 2, a 5, a 5, and a 10. What is the smallest number, Charlie, that all those numbers divide evenly into? 10. It is a 10. So that will be our lowest common denominator. And here we'll multiply top and the bottom by 10. Okay, we're clearing fractions. Okay, this is all we review. Now don't forget that 10 must be distributed to each term in the parentheses. So here we go. Show the next step. Okay, there it is. 10 times 1 half minus 10 times 3 fifths all over 10 times 2 fifths plus 10 times 7 tenths. Okay, now I'm going to walk you through this, Charlie, so pay attention. I'm going to go ahead and do the Kung Fu fraction technique. Let me go ahead and list the answer up there so you can see. It's 5 subtract 6 over 4 plus 7. Now let me explain how we got that. Well, with a 10 times 1 half here, we go 2 goes into 10 5 times, 5 times 1 is 5, okay? Now, 10 times 3 fifths, 5 goes into 10 2 times, 2 times 3 is 6. Now we go to the bottom here. 10 times 2 fifths, 5 goes into 10 2 times, 2 times 2 is that 4. And finally, plus, we go to the next one, 10 times 7 tenths, 10 goes into 10 1 times, 1 times 7 is 7. So that's how we got that fraction up there. Now remember, we're going through this rather quickly because this was all covered in pre-algebra. So go back and refresh your memory. Now, basic arithmetic here now. Charlie, what's 5 subtract 6? Negative 1. Negative 1. And 4 plus 7 is 11. Okay. So our answer is negative 1 over 11. Or we can write this as negative 1 over 11. Okay. Either answer is acceptable. And we'll go ahead and box our answer. So we've got one more problem Problem for our fraction review. Here it is. It's, very, it's basically along the same lines. Okay. 5 thirds plus 1 sixth over 4 fifths minus 4 fifteenths. There it is. Now, remember, Charlie, we want to clear the fractions by using the lowest common denominator. Okay. And what is this, Charlie? Notice our denominators up there. 3, 6, 5, and a 15. They're all different here. What is the smallest number that all those denominators divide evenly into? 30. Okay, it is 30. Very nice. That's a tricky problem there. It is 30. Okay. Got to think about it. Now, remember, what do we do with the 30, Charlie? But top month. Multiply top and the bottom of our complex fraction with a 30. There it is. Okay. Now we have to use what property? Distributive. The distributive property, because we're going to distribute to each term in the parentheses, okay? And now we'll do our Kung Fu math move, okay? Charlie, go ahead and do this one for us. Now, let me list the answer up there. There it is, 50 plus 5 over 24 minus 8. Now, Charlie, go through the procedure. Don't go through your Kung Fu math clearing fractions procedure. Go ahead. Do 30 times 5 thirds. 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 times 5 is 50. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now, next one, 30 times 1 6. 6 goes into 35 times 5 times 1 is 5. Very good. Okay, now we'll come to the bottom. Do 30 times 4 fifths. 5 goes into 36 times 6 times 4 is 24. Very nice, Charlie. Now you got one more. Bring us home. 15 goes into 32 times 2 times 4 is 8. Very nice. So there it is. The fractions are gone. Okay, so all we have to do now is do our basic arithmetic. Charlie, what's 50 plus 5? 55. 55, very good. And 24 subtract 8? 16. 16. Don't forget to circle your answer. So, And with that said, that completes your fraction review for beginning algebra. 
Woo. Anyway, that's all I gotta say for now, and it's time to get into the course material for beginning algebra. So you all have a great semester. <laughs>